Welcome back, guys. What is going on? Lockout men in the building, but I'm in the truck. What's going on? Welcome to the first episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call. Yes, I am back with a fresh round of calls for you guys this year. If you're new to my channel, man, thank you. I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and hit the bell on your way out. Well, this year is a new year, new round of calls, all for you guys. You know what I'm saying? You guys want to get hip, we want to get caught up. Season one, 2016, and season two, 2017 is available. Go and check them out right quick. Today's call is to Hirschbach Motorline. Got a lot of requests for this uh, call right here. You guys want to know a little bit about Hirschbach? Well, I'm about to call the recruiter and find out for you. All right, so before I begin, I'm not getting paid for this, for saying this, but you guys really need to go and download Driver Pulse. You know what I'm saying? It's the truck driver's guide to getting a job out here in the trucking field. Hirschbach Motorline, this is Danny. Yes. What, what's your name again? This is Danny. Danny. How you no, doing? What's up? How can I help you? How you doing, ma'am? Um, I'm, so, good. I'm good. So I was on uh, Hirschback, uh website, and uh, yeah. it says if I have any questions, I should give you guys a call. So... Um, I'm hearing a lot of things about Hirschback. I would like to know a little bit more about the company. You mind if I mind if I ask you some questions about the company? Sure. How did you hear about us? Uh, other than the fact that I see all your trucks out here on the road and <laughs> and you guys constantly sending me emails every other day, how can I not hear about you guys? Okay. So how can I help? <laughs> um. Well, this is general questions that I just have off the top of my head. I'm not only asking for myself, but I also got like, you know, a truck driving group that uh, that I'm in and they, you know, interested in the places that I call as well. Do you guys offer, okay. do you guys uh, do CDL training? Like CDL school? No school. Nope. If you have a CDLA with no experience um, in certain parts of the country, we do do training. Mm -hmm. um, get you the experience you need to run solo. Okay. But um, gotta come to us with the CDLA. Okay. Now you say uh, CDLA in certain parts. What parts? Uh, like the. If what you have a CDLA and you have no experience, we offer some training um, to get you on solo, paid training, and that's usually most of it's in the Midwest. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So just in the Midwest, you guys train? Well, yeah, in like Philadelphia. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what what areas do you guys hire out of? I'm out of Ohio, so what other areas do you guys hire out of? Um, I hire out of I hire out of Cleveland. Um, okay. We hire east of the Rockies, but um, with some exceptions, and our over the road program is really strict right now. So we're mostly just hiring dedicated, which is there's a lot of Midwest, and then there's some East Coast. Okay, okay. What about terminals? Where's the terminals located at? Dubuque, Iowa, Denton, Texas, and Atlanta, Georgia. All right. The home terminal, would that, that would be the first one that you said? That um, would... It just depends. If you're over the road or if you're, um, a lot of our dedicated stuff is uh, weekly home time, once a week, six days dispatch, one day home, and then over the road is three weeks out, three days home. Okay. I'm, I meant the term, the terminals. Where's, where's the home term, where's the home office is located at? Those are the ones I mentioned. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Do you guys offer a sign-on bonus? And if so, how is it paid out? We do, um, we do like orientation pay. So if you go, you do um, complete orientation, you get uh, $900 paid out pretty much right away. And then $100 to our store to get merchandise. Okay, so you guys don't, so you guys just, just do that $900 payout? Y'all don't do no sign-on bonus or nothing like that? We just did a thousand dollar orientation completion. Okay. We do lease over the road, then we do a hundred dollars a week. Every week you stay with us, so an extra five grand a year. Okay, okay. What about uh what about pre employment drug testing? Do you guys require hair follicles? No. Okay. What about an agility test? Like we do we gotta we gotta show you guys we can get inside of the trucks? Uh, well, I mean 
mean, it's part of that. I mean, there's, there's a road test that's involved. So, yeah, we're going to have to know you can get in and out of the truck, obviously. But um, if you go company, then there's a back assessment. If you go lease, we don't have a back assessment. Um, and if you have six months or more left on your med card, then you don't have to redo your physical. Okay, okay. Uh, quick question. Why why you guys don't require a back assessment if I'm going lease? It's just not what we just don't do it. Uh, okay. Uh, what's your policy? What's your policies on felons? Um, it depends on uh, the, it depends on the felony, but the majority of them, if it's seven years or more, seven years or more older, then we we don't um, we can still hire you, but you have to have been out of prison for at least five years. Okay. So even if the felony happened in say 2010 and you've only been out since 2017, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be able to help you. Okay. Now you mentioned the orientation. Where is the orientation held at? One of our three main locations, depending on where you reside. Okay. So you so you mentioned something about you mentioned the training aspect of it in certain locations. What's the what's the wait time for a trainer? We get it done right away. We do training on Mondays and Wednesdays. We get your trainer right away. Okay. Okay. How much experience do do Hirschbach trainers have? They've just been with us and kind of proven themselves for an extended period of time. There's no clear-cut set amount of time, but I would say minimum six months. All right. So after the new... With us. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. At least six months with us. That doesn't mean they only have six months experience. Just have to be with us for at least that long. Oh, okay. So what about uh, after after the uh, young cats get finished training? Do Are they forced to team? No, yeah, forced teams. No. Only type of teaming that we force is for a team training. Until you get the experience you need to go solo. And then otherwise, we do not force teaming. All right. What's the CPM? Um, so it's, it's on a sliding scale. Um, so for over the road, uh, your range is going to be between about $1.10 to $1.30, depending on the length of haul. And then dedicated accounts are all different. Um, but all of our dedicated accounts do have a guaranteed minimum. So for the most part, on those dedicated accounts, you're going to be right at that guaranteed minimum. There will be times you might go a little bit over, but um, nothing I would want to promise. Um, a dollar ten is that for lease or for company pay, uh, drivers? For over the road, we do straight lease. For dedicated, we do company and lease. But our over the road program is just lease. Okay, tell me. Money down, no credit check. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Can you repeat that? Tell me a little bit more about the lease program. Um, it's uh, no money down, no credit check. Lease, we lease out 2016 to 2019, International Pro Stars. The majority of our fleet is automatic. All comes with a full-size sleeper, flat screen TV, refrigerator, APU, inverter, free direct TV, free series radio. Trucks stay on the road about four years. Lease trucks go 68. Okay. Now, this lease... Is this lease option to buy or just leasing from the company? Lease purchase. You have an option to purchase once the lease is over. Um, most people most people just re-up for a new lease. You only pay 99 cents a gallon for fuel and you got a worry-free maintenance account. Most people don't want to lose that. We don't pressure you to buy, but you do have an option. Okay. So if I decide to bring my own truck, if I have my own truck, would I still be able to still be able to lease on with you guys? Or do I have to lease one with your you guys' trucks? We don't really take on owner up. Okay, okay. Um, question: Why why over the road drivers have has to be leased? Why not company drivers? We used to do company, but um, you know the money the money's in lease. We were most of our guys that were company over to lease, so we dropped it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now, for company drivers, uh, is the company drivers, are they still on the sliding scale as well? For dedicated accounts, yes. Each dedicated account has a different sliding scale for mileage. Like I said, most of them, you can expect to get the guaranteed one. What's the, what dedicated lanes you guys have? We do some accounts for different farms, Purdue. Uh, we do Smithfield. We do Tyson. Okay, majority of your majority of your lanes is reefer. You, do you guys offer drive-in? We're doing all reefer at this point. Okay, okay. 
do you guys offer pay advances? So after I come on after orientation, I decide to come on and everything. But of course, that first week is going to be kind of ugly for me. Do you guys offer pay advances? Mm, yeah, I tell them to HR and HR and payroll. But yeah, I mean, you don't want to start off getting yourself into a, in advance, though, because then what it turns into is a spiral. So then the next week you get paid, your paycheck, your first paycheck ends up being really small because you didn't advance the first week, and then you just have to keep getting advances. So, I mean, yes, we do offer it, but most people that start off doing advances, fun, they, are, they don't end up being very happy. Per diem, is it offered and is it mandatory? Uh, per diem is offered for company positions only, not for lease, up to $59 a day. Okay. You guys offer holiday pay, and which holidays do you guys offer it if you do? We don't. Okay. What about vacation pay? Some, some dedicated, some dedicated accounts. Um, the merchants, you know, don't have or an open holidays, so then you get holidays off, and you still get your guaranteed minimum because those accounts are based on being available for dispatch. Um, and if you do over the road, we uh, we let you skip a truck payment every six months. So then, that's when people take a vacay um, for uh, company positions, vacation after a year. Okay, uh, you you mentioned um, you mentioned that twice uh, for the lease. Huh. It sounds like leasing. What? It sounds like leasing is going to be the way to go with you guys. Um, how often? We have a good, great lease program. Um, how often? How often do layovers there happen, and do we get paid for it? If you're on a dedicated account, it's a guaranteed minimum account. As long as you're available for dispatch, you do get paid for it. Layover pay for lease over the road, um, it just depends. So, I mean, yes, there's layover pay, breakdown pay, detention pay. Um, you know, lay, layover breakdown pay is after 24 hours, typically 250 And detention pay has to do with how much the merchant pays. Okay. Now, again, you, you mentioned the fact that, uh, that the lanes, that the uh, dedicated is a guaranteed minimum. What is what is the guaranteed minimum? Depends on the account. Typically between uh, eleven fifty and twelve fifty a week. Okay, so so that's guaranteed to us whether or not we make the miles or not. And if so, how do we how do we get that guarantee? How how do the guarantee work? As long as you're available for dispatch six days a week, you do get your guaranteed minimum. Oh, if you exceed the miles for that account that equals the eleven fifty or twelve fifty, you do get over. But if you are under those miles, you still get your guaranteed minimum. The weather's bad and you can't travel. We pull you off the road as long as you were available for dispatch. You still get paid. So the only time that it gets prorated is if you have to take a day off, or you you know you're sick, or you only work at five of the six days or four of the six days that it gets prorated. Okay. What about uh? What what about multiple stops? Do you, is do you guys have like multiple stop pay? Depends on the account, and if it's a if it's a dedicated account, that guarantee minimums in place. To you know, we factor all that in. Okay, okay. What benefits do you guys offer? Um, on company positions only, first day of the month after sixty days, we do offer Blue Cross Blue Shield, um, and then on company positions, four hundred one k after a year. How much is the Blue Cross Blue Shield a week? Um, it's kind of hard to, you know, give you a quote on that. I mean, it depends on who all you're covering. We have different health assessments you can take to get discounts. But um, if you're just covering yourself, I think it's about 40 to 45 bucks a week okay. with coverage. Okay. All right. So running with you guys uh, dedicated or, uh, or regional, what's the, what's, the, what's the average miles that I get that I can get? I mean, you already mentioned in the fact that we get a guaranteed minimum, but what's what's the average miles out there that I can get from you guys? Every account's different. Okay. Yeah, but it just depends on the account. Every account's different. So if you're there in a place in Ohio, I have a dedicated account for Nestle, and that one is two weeks out, two days home, guaranteed minimum of 1150 I think the average on that account's about 2200 Okay, okay. You guys reimburse for scales and tolls? Yes. Yeah. All right. Is this all... Free pass, it, easy pass, uh, pass, all that stuff, yep. Is this all... Uh, is th all this information that you're giving me as far as guaranteed minimum and everything, 
Uh, is that all based on live unloads and uh, live live loads and live unloads? What's the percentage of dropping hooks there? Mm, depends on the account again. Uh, the majority of our majority of our fleet's going to be the majority is going to be um, no touch dropping hooks, and we'll be on live unload. Family Dollar account is um, a touch account, so you have to touch on that account, make more money, but you do have to touch. Otherwise, the majority of our stuff is ninety nine percent no touch. Now, let me ask you a question about leasing right quick. You, you, you mentioned that you guys is heavy on the leasing. What if, uh, what if a driver uh, refused a certain amount of loads? Would he be penalized for that? If your lease over the road is pre-planned dispatch, you're picking your loads ahead of time, working with your DM. Um, we run east of the Rockies, so I would never want to hire someone on that said that they didn't want to do northeast because you're not going to make any money turn down those loads, then it's going to affect your pay. Um, on dedicated accounts, force dispatch. All right. Ooh, dedicated lease drivers is force dispatch? All of our dedicated is force dispatch. You have to be available for dispatch six days a week to get your guaranteed minimum. Okay. I'm, I'm talking about lease. That's the same thing for lease drivers yeah. too? Let, let me get this straight. So if I decide if I want to come in and, and lease with you guys, and let's say you guys put me on the dedicated, I can't refuse none of the none of the loads that's thrown to me if I'm a lease driver? No, not generally. Nope, you're on a, you're on a dedicated account. So you, you know, you're accepting that territory and, and, and that load ahead of time when you're on a dedicated account. And the good thing about lease when you're on dedicated is that basically like we're paying all your expenses because that guarantee minimum is after everything. That's after your truck payment, your fuel, your maintenance account. Um, it's after everything. Yeah. So, when you sign up for a dedicated account, you know, you're saying that you're accepting that territory. Man, that's, yeah, that least dedicated just sounds to me like a glorified company driver. <laughs> I mean, it, it, that's why we have both options available. So if you want to go company and get that per diem and some benefits, um, you can go that route. Otherwise, you know, we'll take care of all your expenses for you when you're on a dedicated account with us. Okay, okay. Um, since I'm going to be uh, since I'm going to be out there uh, driving with a number of drivers, how many how many other drivers I got to share with my fleet manager? Mm, and, and I'm not positive what our ratio is right now. Okay. But, um, we we got a lot of qualified, uh, a lot of qualified, and you know, experienced DMs. So. so so what? So what about home time? What what would be my home? What what's the home time? I mean, what's the home time like with you guys? If you go lease over the road, you know, you're we, we expect you to stay out, you know, two to three weeks at a time. More often three than two, and then uh, one day off for each week, and then on dedicated accounts you have that one full day off. We love to make that your thirty four hour reset. Can't promise it every week, but we do promise the twenty four hours. Okay. So, lease drivers, we have to stay out two to three weeks to get one day of home time. I'm a lease driver now. I mean, if I'm if lease I'm over the road, we do one day per week. So you know, if you want to make if you want to make the money, you know, you got to get all your expenses in there, and you want to take home a healthy paycheck. Those are the types of drivers we're looking for. The ones that are willing to stay out the, you know, I mean, it is over the road. So we're looking at for those drivers that are willing to stay out that two to three weeks. Yes. I mean, it, it is pre-claimed dispatch. So if you, have, I mean, if, if you called me and you said you want a job and you want to be home once a week for lease, I, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be a good fit. Not with us. Hmm. You're not going to make enough money. Interesting. Not enough money to keep you happy. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's the pet and rider policy there? Um, one rider at a time. Must be over 10 years old. Um, it cannot have a CDL. And then pet policy, we do $100 a week. We take out of your paycheck for 20 weeks. After that 20 weeks is up, we take a look at your ride. Everything looks good. You get the two grand back. Okay. All right. So you guys did mention uh, force dispatch. So is it force dispatch to NYC or California? Depends on the dedicated account. Pre-planned dispatch for over the road. We do not force New York City. We do pay extra for it. Um, but we run east of the Rockies, so we're not doing any West Coast. Um, now, on some dedicated accounts that are in the, in the Northeast, uh, or in the, you know, the the uh, East Coast and Northeast, some of those do have um, forced New York City. You also get paid extra for those on top of your guaranteed minimum for going to New York City, but there's just a couple accounts that we that we have that force that New York City for dedicated. So you have to make that commitment ahead of time. It's just the right fit for you. Okay, okay. What about hazmat? 
Do you guys require hazmat? We do not. Okay. If I decide to get my hazmat while working for the company, would you guys reimburse me? Ever been asked that question? I'm not sure. You'd have to find that one out for you. <laughs> okay. I, I think we, I think we help, I think we help out with getting like Twitter cards. Um, but I mean, if, if, you know, if hazmat isn't really required for the for the job, I don't really see why we would help it. You know, reimburse you for it if it's not something we require. But I could find that out for you. Okay. Uh, what if you hadn't mentioned it already, and I believe you have, but what's the equipments do you guys offer? Um, right now, the majority of our fleet is 2016 to 2019 International Pro Stars. We do have some Freightliners and some Kenworth, um, but orientation at orientation, your truck gets assigned. So as a recruiter, I can't promise you a certain truck because it's not part of my role to assign the truck. Okay. So I know in 2019, we're getting quite a few more Freightliners. And, um, are there are there automatics so or, or, or yes. are they all automatics? The majority, yes. Okay. If I now let me ask you this, I know you just said that uh, you you can't promise me, but if I do want a manual, would I would I be would it be any problem with me getting one? Mm, no, but, I mean, it, like I said, it's just it's another thing. If you want a specific truck or a specific gear, it's just recruiting isn't in that part of our role to assign trucks, so I wouldn't be able to promise it. Or anything like that. The only thing I can say is, you know, if somebody has a like an auto restriction, then we obviously have to give them an auto. But um, we just don't have a whole lot of manual time for it. Okay. Well, you already mentioned the. Uh, we have a request a request sheet where we can like request if somebody wants certain trucks. That makes sense. But it's nothing that I would have control over. Um, nor would I tell you, please come to orientation for me. I got a job for you, and I got you a manual truck. I wouldn't ever promise somebody that. Okay. Well, you already uh, mentioned the amenities. Uh, there's there's a lot of amenities inside of the trucks that you guys offer. Yeah. Uh, do you guys uh, do you guys have a drive cam inside the trucks? I sure do. Front yes, face. It's triggered by triggered by uh, driving behavior only, uh, managed by third parties. So it just um, goes off based on driving behavior. You know, so if you're following too close, abrupt stops, abrupt lane changes, accidents. Um, excessive speed, things like that, then that camera is going to go off for your safety. Um, but that's the only time it goes off. So I just I tell people not to not to worry about it unless you're uh, trying to get away with something, you know. All right. Is it front facing or or driver facing? Oh yeah, both. Okay. Yep. Okay. What are what what are the trucks governing that? Our company trucks are sixty four and lease trucks are sixty eight. Okay. Can I take the truck home? for my home time? Um, yeah, then for the most part, the majority of accounts, like, unless you live like in Atlanta or Denton or Dubuque or one of those main terminals are, for the most part, everyone takes their truck home. Okay, all right. So what, all right, so I, 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 have, I have a few more, uh, just a few more. Um, what if I decided to, what if I decide that the company is not right for me and I want to uh, bring the truck back. What would be the stipulations for me to bring in the truck back? You have to work with your DM on that. But I mean, it would just be like any other company where, as long as you put it at a you know an authorized location, um, we wouldn't be able to hit you with an abandonment or anything like that. Um, on the lease, it is a walk away. You find out it's not working out for you. It's easy to walk away from. We don't strap you with fees and put you into a contract or anything that you can't get out of. So um, at Hirschbach, our retention rate is much lower than industry average you know we have more guys staying than we do leaving um, and that's because they're getting taken care of they're getting paid you know so um so much so that right now we have to tight, we have to tighten up our over the road program because um you know we aren't having turnover okay. you know so it's, it's, a, it's kind of a good problem to have but it um it makes us tighten up our criteria and only hire you know like elite drivers at this point for over the road um, all right just, our guys aren't leaving all right a little bit more information about the lease uh is there anything else that you could tell me about it we do 99 cent fuel, so pretty unheard of in the industry. You know, no matter what, it's at the pump. We're only going to charge you 99 cents. We do give you a company card, so you're not paying out of pocket for fuel or anything like that. Our maintenance accounts, Cadillac, um, you pay percent um, per mile rate on it, and then you're covered day one. So it's not an escrow, but if something happens day one, you need new tires, blowout, breakdown. Um, you're never going to have to worry about paying out of pocket for any of that. We're going to cover it. All right. So if I'm in, if I'm interested, uh, Dan, you say Danny, right? That's your name. Yes, sir. All right, D A N I, right? Yes, sir. There you go. Um, all right, Danny. Well, 
what would be the number one reason for me to come on and work with Hirsch back? Well, we've been in business since 1935. Um, we're established. Like I just said about our retention rate, it kind of speaks for itself. Look at reviews online and see that, you know, we got, um, we got a lot of happy drivers, people that have been here a long time. Uh, 65% of our fleet has been referred by a current driver, okay? So what that means is that people that are currently driving for Hirschbach are doing the most of our recruiting because they're happy and they're satisfied and they want to pass it on to friends and family. Um, so that's the majority of the guys that work for us and drive for us are, they came from um, a referral, okay? We pay out two grand per referral. We got guys making an extra 30 grand a year just, just referring, getting guys over here, getting quality drivers over here for us, okay? Okay. Um, we're also, like I said, a little bit tired in our hiring criteria. Um, you know, if you go over to Swift or Trans Am, um, doesn't take much to get on at those places. Um, it's a little bit harder to get on with us, you know. It's not just you know people calling us saying, hey, I'm ready for a job. I want to start. I want to start orientation. And um, we have we have a we have a pretty strict hiring process and um, stricter criteria because we hire good drivers, you know. So um, those are the types of guys we're looking for. So our retention rate speaks a lot for itself. Um, nothing that I can say, you know, that I can you know say is a um, an opinion or based on just kind of what I think as you know, an employee for Hirschbach, I mean, it's factual that um, our retention rate's lower than the industry average. So our guys are sticking around and, you know, how it goes with trucking. If you're not getting taken care of and not getting paid, you're not sticking around. You're jumping ship. So. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. that's 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 good. That's some good information, Miss Danny. I appreciate the time that you're giving me on this, right. man. Uh, some that uh, some that I will take back to uh, my friends and family, Ooh. and uh, let them know. And if they need to get in contact with you, I'll definitely put you, you know, put you know, put your name on there so they can uh, give you a call. How long you been with the company? I mean, it sounds like you had a. You sounds like you know your stuff. So, how long you been with them? So it's about like six months or so. so yeah. Okay. Work for. That'll work, Miss Danny. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate the time. Of course. Happy New Year. Happy New Year Bye. to you too. And there you have it. Hirschback. I want to thank Danny, D A N I. I want to thank Danny for her time and for the information that she has given us for Hirschback. If you guys are interested in Hirschback, Definitely give them a call. Uh, I will link the call and Miss Danny in the comments below or in the description below. Description below. I will definitely link that down there so you guys can call her and find out a little bit more about Hirschback. So one, thank you very much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, subscribe, like, share the video. And don't forget to hit the bell on your way out. You know what I'm saying? Lock out, man. Mates the call. Yo, I want you guys to tell me who's next.